everybody, Macaron Tika Baby here with a tutorial on how to convert Sims 2 package files to PMX package files for Miku Miku Dance. So you'll need the following objects. You'll need, oh, before I begin, before even before I begin, way before I begin this tutorial. This is for Windows PC only, meaning you cannot do this on a phone nor a tablet. You might be able to get away with the Mac if you have like a virtual box to access Windows PC only, guys. I'm sorry if that came off as rude, but I get so many questions on if I could do this on the phone or tablet. No, you can't. Anyway, um, you're going to need the following things. You're going to need Sims 2, the Sims 2 game, Sim PE, Metasequoia, English PMX Editor or PMX Editor, period. And you also need a plugin for PMX Editor called Transfer Weights. You also need a texture package and a mesh package. Well, I'm going to use this uh, shirt here by Leona Sims 2. We're going to download both the texture and the mesh, which I've already downloaded, so I don't need to download it again. And now what you want to do, you want to up Sim PE. Go to File, Open. And you're going to find the texture package, which is this one right here for me. Go down to the last one, it should say texture image TXTR. You're going to find the texture in one of these three files, which is not this one. And let's see if it's this one. Be a little bigger here. Okay, it's not this one either, I don't think. Nope, not this one either, so it must be the last one. Ho oh, ho, it is the last one. Click export. And you're going to save it in a folder, any folder. I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to save it in a tutorial folder. I'm going to call it texture for easier, uh, access. And you will open up the mesh now. File, open. And then find the mesh. You want to make sure you have the geometric data container, GMDC. Click on that one, click on it, over here. And then make sure these over here are checkboxed. Click on export, save it in uh, the folder tutorial, whatever folder you want. I'm going to call it mesh. So you're done with SimP, you can X off that and you go to Metasequoia 4. Make sure you have the full version too. If you don't have the full version, there are a lot of tutorials out there on how to get the full version for free. So file, open. You want to open up the OBJ file that you just saved. Click OK. And you want to go down to where it says Material Panel, the mat 1. You want to click on that. Double click on that. Reference. And we're going to find the texture. Click OK. And this one does come with the bracelet. I'm going to go ahead and delete the bracelet though. And this side as well. Delete this too. So it should be okay if we have like a little bit of vertices, so it shouldn't be that bad. And we go to File, Save As. We're going to call this Top. Save it as a PMD, which you drop down the menu. You click from MQO to PMD at the bottom, around the bottom. Click Save, and you want to multiply that by 10. Click OK. You're done with the Sequoia, you can just click No. Open up PMX Editor and load up a base, which I'm going to load up Elena's base. But this is not going to be an outfit for her. This is just a tutorial. File. Oh wait, before you do that, make sure that these are all checked on. You click on parts, or else they'll be or else the whole thing will disappear. And you just click on parts to make it reappear again, without selecting any of the uh, vertices. Hopefully that made sense. Okay, file, import. You're going to import the PMD top. Click OK. And we're going to move the top around, like so. Now to um, rig it to the body, there's an easy way to do this, guys. There is seriously an easy way to do this. Um, we're going to go ahead and just like kind of move that around a little bit more, just because it didn't look right. Okay, that looks a little better. You're going to click on the body or whatever. For clothing, this is the easiest way to do it. For hair, just rig it to the head bone and add 
bones and such. That's my way. But for like outfits, you just click the body um, vertice or the checkbox with the body vertice. Highlight the body vertice. Make sure it's just the vertice. Go to edit, plugin, user, and then it should be this one right here. This one right here. Click on that. You're going to save it as base text file and you click save. Click OK. Go back to the outfit that you have and you just highlight the outfit. Go to edit, plugin, wherever you save the plugin and it should be named this right here. Click that. Click the base and then click open and we wait and click OK. Now it should be weighed. So you click on the t, t right here at the transform view to make sure it's weighed correctly. What is it doing? Okay. Click on the physics button. Which is doing pretty good in the physics. The boo physics, I mean. Okay, that shouldn't be rigged there. Sometimes it does a good job rigging, sometimes not. You may have to fix some of the rigging, which doesn't really... Which isn't really that hard to fix. The Usually it's the arms that has problems. So to fix the arms, we're going to go ahead and go to the BN tab, highlight the uh, upper body bone, click on weight, start, and you're going to weigh... Oops, not that. To find where the... Texture was... Well, it's right here. It's, yeah, it's right here and right here. Weigh that, you're gonna have transform view again, see if that fixed it. Hurry, it fixed! So that's the basics of how to convert Sims 2 to PMD or PMX model files. Anyway, um, hope this tutorial helped, and if it did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!